Welcome back to One Byte at a Time, the daily video series designed to help you make the most of the technology provided to you at Century 21 Award. If you don't have listings of your own, this featured listings box can look a little blank. Today we're going to populate that with whatever listings you choose from your MLS. Start by logging into Broker Agent Admin. Navigate to my website. and then navigate down to the Settings tab on the left-hand side. Select the Featured Listings option, and then set Featured Listings Settings to Manual, and click the Save button. Now navigate to the Listings tab. Make sure that Auto is selected, and then click on the option for Other MLS Listings. At this point, all you need is a list of the MLS numbers you would like to add to your website. You can gather these either by searching on the MLS or by searching on your Century 21 Award site. I've already pulled up four, and all I'm going to do is copy and paste the MLS number. Click Go, and assuming this is the correct listing, click Activate Listing. Then click Mark as Featured. Repeat this process until you've added all of the listings you would like to add to your Century 21 Award Featured Listings section. I've now added four total listings to my Featured Listings section. Keep in mind that these listings do not need to be your listings, nor do they need to be listings that belong to Century 21 Award, as that is what our IDX agreement is for. Now when you go back to preview your website, you will see that you have Featured Listings available, and when someone clicks on the listings, it will take them to an individual listing page where the listing is presented by you. However, in accordance with MLS guidelines, it will also give the listing brokerage information, though only information that does not include contact information. As these listings become pending or sold, they will automatically drop off your feed, so you don't need to further edit them. However, as listings drop off your feed, you will want to continually add more listings. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for the next edition of One Byte at a Time.